Good afternoon, Geneva. Attention juniors and seniors needing community service hours. We need your help for the Chris Kringle Craft Fair. Work slots are available on Friday, November 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. or Saturday, November 12th from 7 to 9 a.m. or 3 to 5 p.m. Sign-ups are in Mr. Yos or Mr. Deering's classrooms. Attention juniors and seniors, Bowling Green will be here tomorrow during fourth period. If you would like to know more about this school, sign up on the Google form that was emailed to you. The Kendall Foundation is looking for volunteers to help out with their first annual trunk or treat that is being held at Elite Employment Center on Saturday, October 22nd from 2 to 4 p.m. They need help with face painting, serving food, and running games. They are also in need of volunteers who are willing to decorate their cars and pass out candy. If you are interested in volunteering, please email alyssa at kendall-foundation.com. Good luck to the boys soccer team who play their first round of playoffs tonight at home. Enjoy this Friday. Friday football recap by Jack Afaro. Have a miraculous Monday, Geneva. Hi everyone, I'm Jack Afaro. This week, your Geneva Eagles took on the Perry Pirates at home. Here are your highlights. The Perry Pirates came ready to play on Friday. Here's Richards on the Pirates opening drive. Right up the middle for the touchdown. Perry go up 6-0. Here's Moses on the ensuing kickoff. A perfect chip shot around the 30-yard line. And the Pirates jump on that one and score quickly, going up 12-0 early. The Eagles were forced to punt coming off the touchdown. Here's Moses. Oh, here's a dime downfield to hacking. He's gone 44 yards to the house for a touchdown. Perry goes up 19-0. The Eagles still no answers on offense. Moses back to pass. This time he's picked by Bryce Beat, trips over the ref, and he'll be down to the seven yard line. Geneva forced to punt again. Watch number 12 in motion. Moses fires to Richards for his second touchdown of the night. That'll put Perry up 25-0. Middle of the third quarter, Young. To his left a pass, flips this one to Pete, and Pete dives, gets into the end zone, 25-7. The Pirates looking to respond to that Eagles touchdown. The pass is tipped and picked, both by Hayden Deemer. Ball's down at the 15-yard line. Despite the interception, the Pirates would hold on to win 32-7. Here's Eagles head coach Donald Chimsky after the tough loss. Uh, you know, I wouldn't never doubt our effort. I thought our guys fought, especially coming out in the second half. We fought and we battled. Uh, just too many mistakes, and when you make those type of mistakes against a program like Perry, they're going to make you pay the price, and that's exactly what they did. The Eagles play their upcoming game at home on Friday against the Chagrin Falls Tigers. Have a great week, and go Eagles!